Welcome to ECU Masters Training Part 27. In this video, we're going to take a look at working with our rolling anti-lag feature. The rolling anti-lag is going to allow us on a turbocharged engine to be able to hold a consistent speed and be able to generate boost while we're moving. When we let go of the button that's going to be triggering the rolling anti-lag, we're going to be able to launch the car and have a slingshot effect so that we don't have to wait for the turbocharger to spool up. This is going to be key on a large turbocharged engine and you want to be able to be in your power band when you're going to be doing a race, not at a stop. So the launch control and anti-lag would be used if we're going to be launching from a stationary stop. The rolling anti-lag is going to be if we're going to be going and racing while we're already moving and trying to generate boost. So we're going to have a whole bunch of things to cover in the video. Let's jump in so we can check them out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at working with a rolling anti-lag feature in our EMU Black software. Now, before we jump into the training tutorial here, you need to make sure you have your motorsports tuning page layout open so you can follow along with what I have here on my laptop screen in the tutorial. You're able to find that under desktops, under open desktops template, and then here under motorsports tuning. So make sure you select this option again so you can see what I have on my screen here in the tutorial. I'll click cancel because I already have it loaded onto my laptop screen. Now. I'm going to move here from my setup page into my r.anti, short for rolling anti-lag. Within the page here, we find all of our live data information that we need to take a look at in order to make sure that the rolling anti-lag is activating and working properly. Also, our programming conditions here for the rolling anti-lag. It's actually really simple to configure and set up, so we're going to go through a basic example here of how to configure it and then some of the parameters we need to pay attention to to get the rolling anti-lag to function as we'd like. Now before we jump into looking at that example, let's go through what we have on the screen here and then we'll talk about the general idea of the rolling anti-lag and what it represents if you're not sure and then we'll go into actually configuring it and setting it up. So on the left hand side of the screen, our basic information here we have in all of our screens on our, uh, our different page layouts. We're going to have our fuel live data information. We're going to have our switched information. Now we have this up here. We need to set up a momentary switch in order to activate and make the rolling anti-lag feature work. We want to see what that status is going to be when we actually push the button down. So if we're pushing the button down, we want to see it go from off to on. And then when we let go of the button, it'll go from on to off. So we need to make sure that basic functionality is going to work. So we have our window up here. Our VSS and gears, we're going to be taking a look at the actual vehicle speed. This is going to be needed for the minimum speed threshold to activate the rolling anti-lag. We can see this is in units of kilometers per hour. Um, we just need to keep track of what that's going to be at. The gear cut, this is going to be housing some information here for the rolling anti-lag, specifically here anything in the uh, tannish color, yellow color, is going to be related to the rolling anti-lag. So we can see here rolling start ignition retard, how much ignition timing it's trying to pull out in order to get to the target boost that we're after that we're going to specify. We also have rolling start target. This is going to be the RPM when we push the button down, wherever the engine RPM is at, that's going to try to hold us at that. It's going to try to latch us down at that particular RPM point. It's going to be using spark cut to hold us at that particular RPM point so that we're going to have a consistent speed which is going to be really important in order to make the anti-lag feature work here, the rolling anti-lag feature. And then finally down here, rolling start active. Is it working or not? Yes or no? Pretty basic. Up in our ignition timing live data here, the ignition angle is going to be reported. Um, ignition from table here, it's what's coming from our spark timing table. These two are typically going to be way off from each other. We'll find that we're going to be using ignition timing to try to get the boost up to where we want to be at. If our boost is matching, our actual boost is matching the target boost we're specifying under the rolling anti-lag, then the ignition timing might be pretty similar to the table here, but usually it'll have a pretty large discrepancy, especially if our boost here, our actual boost is way under the target that we're requesting. So keep that in mind. And then Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel so make sure you subscribe and click here thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later